Hi everyone, Amy Love here to show you what I have been working on. And I made these beautiful uh, metal embellishments, which I am enjoying making so much. And I used the, this huge metal uh, that's available at Angel Dream Crafts. I mean, it's beautiful. It's just so big, I love it. So I do have a tutorial on exactly what I did and how I created this, but these are the pieces that I used from Angel Dream Crafts, the, the big metal piece this beautiful pink cameo, the rhinestone trim, this bow, okay, let me just say, the sparkle on these bows, I'm in love, in love with those. And I also dangled uh, this charm that's available at Angel Dream Crafts from the bottom. Super cute. And then this is the same metal piece, one of her rose cabochons. This piece of bling, which I do have one left right here so you can see what it looks like on its own. Isn't it beautiful? And then uh, this charm also came from Angel Dream Crafts. So these turned out so cute. I enjoyed making them so much. I mean, I am just loving the metal embellishments lately. So if you'd like to see um, how to create one for yourself, please stay tuned and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. See you on the next one, everybody. So the first thing I'm going to do is gesso the metal pieces. I want to cover up the silver and I also want to give the things I'm going to adhere to the metal, I want to give them something to stick to and to grip to so the gesso helps uh, with both of those things. So I like to sponge it on because that also gives it an extra texture to hold on the other embellishments. Sometimes it takes a couple of coats to cover up that metal though. So now I'm going to rub the um, gessoed side of my metal pieces into my embossing ink and I want to make sure it gets good and covered. And I am using my frontage in white with gold flecks. And so I pour it all over and I'm using my pokey tool because you don't want to touch the front of the metal with your finger until you've embossed it. But it's good and covered. So now I'm just going to use my heat tool and emboss the metal and of course when you emboss metal metal gets very very hot so you do not want to pick it up or touch it until you have let it cool don't make that mistake that's why i'm using my pokey tool so i don't burn my finger all right now they are so pretty and ready to go and I am going to use this uh, pink cameo from Angel Dream Crafts and I am using glossy accents around the edges but then I'm going to put a dab of hot glue in the middle so I can have immediate hold but then that uh, glossy accents is going to give it a more permanent hold than the hot glue will to the metal. And you will find the link to Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy's store below. So make sure you go and check that out. Now this is one of her rose cabochons and I'm gonna do it the same way. Glossy accents around the edges and hot glue in the middle. Super cute. And now one of my favorite things is uh, a rhinestone cup chain. I absolutely love it. And she is now carrying it. Yay! So I like to go ahead and pre-measure it because it gets a little messy. So it's best to have it already cut and ready to go. And I am going to use glossy accents to adhere the uh, rhinestone cup chain around the cameo. So I'm just adding it to the edges, uh, the outside edges of the cameo and to the metal. And it of course seeps through them. It does make a mess and you've got to watch it. And if you hold the rhinestone cup chain too long in one place, your finger will also get glued to the project. So <laughs> just be mindful, be mindful of that. But I love the way rhinestone looks wrapped around all the things. Love it. So I'm going to do that same thing, of course, to the, um, cabochon but I cleaned up my little glue mess first because I mean it just it makes a mess but it's so great I mean glossy accents holds this on so well it's worth a little bit of mess because it holds the bling oh 
love it. I love these metal embellishments so much. I'm a little addicted to making them at the moment. So now this bow, okay, is everything. And I'm just going to hot glue it on because it has a felt back. So that's enough to hold that in place. So pretty. The sparkle is amazing. But this other bling piece from Angel Dream Crafts is actually a metal piece. So I'm going to use a little bit of E6000 to hold it on. So it's going to need to sit there for about 24 hours to dry completely. But it is the best thing to glue metal down works like a champ. So I'm just going to glue that down right there. So it's that easy and they're beautiful. I'm going to add just a couple more embellishments and some charms to the bottom. Be sure you follow the link below and check out the store and thanks for watching everybody and I will see you on the next one.